All right, let's give this a go. Oh, damn, that, that is actually useful. Hey, guys, hope you're doing well. Griff here with some beginner's tips for Far Cry 6. Tips like getting a speed boost by reloading your weapon. I know it doesn't really make sense, but nonetheless, that's just one of the many tips you're about to see, all of which will help you get off to the best possible start in Far Cry 6. So here we go. Number one, sprint faster. All you have to do to sprint faster in Far Cry 6 is to reload your weapon. Popping some fresh ammo into your equipped firearm for some weird reason affects your movement speed, dramatically ramping it up for a few seconds. You can pull off this sprint boost trick by reloading any weapon, but you can actually increase the boost more by doing it with a smaller, lighter gun. So, for instance, a pistol. This boost trick is great if you're stuck in the middle of nowhere and there's no car, horse, or quad bike in sight. Hey, even if there are no speedy vehicles around, just turn yourself into one by reloading. Now, this works even better with guns that have long reloads, like the nail gun. I can't imagine this is an intentional game mechanic because if it was, there's no way to make it make sense, even in a game where you can order a crocodile around. Number two, fly under the radar. When you're piloting a plane or chopper, not all of the game world will be open to you. That's because of anti-aircraft sights scattered around the islands trying to shoot you down. Identify yourself. What is your operating number? What? While you can go and take out these anti-aircraft sites to make the skies clear, that takes time. What takes less time is simply flying lower to avoid anti-aircraft fire. As soon as you get the warning, just decrease your altitude until the warning disappears. This handy method makes airborne vehicles viable to fly even if you've not destroyed any anti-aircraft stations. In most cases, choppers are the quickest vehicle since you can drive them along the road like a car and then rise into the air to get over objects like a hovering car. Two cars in one. Number three, how to get the wingsuit early. The best way to go from a high point to a low point is undoubtedly the wingsuit. And given the rocky nature of Far Cry 6's game world, you're going to be going from a high point to a low point quite a lot. As such, the wingsuit comes in very handy. I'm gonna hit that car. <laughs> to get your hands on it, go to your base and visit this guy. Select the option to build this structure and it will give you access to the wingsuit. It's easy to miss, but you can get the wingsuit very, very early indeed in Far Cry 6. so much better than a parachute, letting you actually maneuver yourself through the air rather than just slowly drifting to the ground like a piece of trash. Number four, earn extra resources. There's a way to earn yourself some extra resources in Far Cry 6, and that's by making your subordinates go out and get them. To set this up, visit the Lost Banditos board in your base and assign your banditos to a mission. They'll go on their mission independently, meaning you can go off and do whatever you want while they earn you rewards. These rewards include resources to help you build more camp structures, money, and even special weapons. It can take an hour of real world time to actually get them to reach their mission, so always make sure you've set one up before you go off and do your own activities. When your bandito has reached their destination, you then make some strategic decisions on the bandito screen, which each earn you money and resources. When these three steps are completed, if your banditos are still alive, you'll come away with the end prize, which here is the Rococo Loco auto pistol.
doing Los Banditos missions unlocks progressively harder ones with progressively better rewards. You'll need more leaders and recruits to send on these missions, which you'll get as you go through the main story. Number 5. Unlock Fast Travel Fast traveling is a must in a game as huge as Far Cry 6, and luckily there's a way to buy fast travel locations instead of having to arduously clear camps. You just have to visit this guy in your camp and purchase the hideout network option. It's the same option as the wingsuit, so if you've already got the wingsuit, you've already done the first step. The second step is going to the building you've just constructed and paying to unlock a fast travel point. I recommend and buying one on each island just so you spread them out enough to take the mundanity out of moving around. When fast traveling, you can even choose to airdrop in, depending whether or not you've destroyed the nearest anti-aircraft site, which you do by doing this. Just remember when you're plummeting through the sky to open your wingsuit or parachute before you reach the ground. Number 6. Swap between all your weapons on the fly Unlike past Far Cry games, you don't have to visit a workbench to access your weapons. Your entire arsenal is on your back throughout the game. Here's the workbench where all your weapons are, and here's the game world where you can also access all your weapons. You can pause the game whenever you want, swap out your entire loadout, and select a completely different one. <laughs> Use this for when your current weapons aren't fit for the task, like for instance if you're attacking a base from distance but don't have a sniper equipped. The same goes for special abilities, vehicle loadouts, and even your clothes. In Far Cry 6, you've got every single piece of loot you can carry on you at all times, safely packed into your bottomless pockets. <laughs> And finally, number 7, download the HD Texture Pack. This is an optional extra download that improves your graphics. At just under 30 gigs, it's not the smallest file, but it will markedly ramp up the game's visuals. This texture pack is available both on consoles and PC, so if you've got the hard drive space, make sure to take advantage of it. As you can see, with the HD texture pack on and all settings on max, Far Cry 6 is nice to look at. I made a comparison video showcasing what Far Cry looks like with the HD pack on and off, so click the link above if you want to have a look at that. Otherwise, just have a look right now at some Far Cry gameplay at max settings and ultra graphics with the pack enabled on PC, which is what this is. <laughs> So those were some top beginner's tips for Far Cry 6, helping you to get off to the best possible starts. Let me know in the comments if you've got any Far Cry 6 tips of your own to share. I would love to hear them and subscribe to my channel for more Far Cry 6 guides.